created? So honestly, um, it all came after um, I started working really hard with my dad, and uh, he showed me a lot. He never gave me a dollar, but I saw a lot of people that, you know, that they gave him a lot of money, and I saw what happened. So he taught me to work for everything I had. Uh, my parents taught me responsibility, and uh, once I started working for my own stuff, I started realizing, you know. The hard work really paid off, and um, when you work hard, you can do whatever you want. It's well, I don't give pieces. I don't give credit to any 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 I don't give credit to myself at all yeah. because it, um, without anybody like around me, sure. then it wouldn't um, nothing would ever happen, happen, you know. So a lot of people around me have uh, maybe who I am. Mm -hmm. So um, I will to you know take credit that I have worked hard for everything I've ever had. Like I've always loved me. I've always loved music. So when I, um, I one day I was coming home off my motorcycle and I turned left. I went home. I said I don't want to live with my parents anymore. I want to go out and I want to make it on my own. So I told my dad the next day. I remember this. We were coming home from work. I said, uh, Dad, I'm moving out. I'm. Uh, my mom was like, What are you doing? I'm like, I don't. I don't want to live here anymore. I want to make it on my own. So I moved, and he, my dad, was so supportive. The rent was three times what I thought would be paying. So I didn't know how I was gonna do it, but I knew I wanted nice things in life. I wanted to be this, I wanted to be that. And so I said, if you don't put, I said, if I don't put myself out there and do it, then I'll never have anything to work for. So I put myself out there and I worked for it. And if you don't put yourself out there and, 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 and work for it, you'll never do it in life. You know, I've always wanted a, a Lamborghini. I've always wanted this, I've always wanted that. But if you don't ever do it, then, I've, I've heard a lot of people say, I wanted this, I wanted that, I wanted this, I wanted that. Yeah, After I moved out, um, I remember when I first bought my first DJ board, I went out and bought two speakers, and I bought my first board, and I've always loved music. Music is my passion. Shout out to Rage. <laughs> so here's how I look at life. like, Don't hate on anybody just because... They're not working because they're not working an 80 hour week like you and they're not, you know, just as fit. Some people are OK with, you know, being at home and, and being overweight and doing their thing. That's OK. You can't knock on them. If it's not affecting you, then why are you going to you know, knock on it? And then obviously I love to work and work and work, but I don't ever knock on anybody. If they work 40 hours a week and it's not affecting me, you know, that's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. So that's actually my number one thing in life is don't knock anybody just because they don't work as hard as you. When I first met Damon, uh, that's Damon, uh, DJ Disaster, uh, we hit it off well. Um, he's always been real. He's always been honest. Uh, he's helped me out more than I could ever help. And uh, we've just been best friends since. We went out and uh, we hang out together. We party together. Um, we work together, you know, on everything we do. Um, and I think we work well together as far as like we we just understand where we're com both coming from at certain points. I think loyalty has a lot to do. You know, we're both loyal to each other. We're not trying to you know this and that. And you know, you know I don't do any DJ events without him. I always go through him mm -hmm. just because I couldn't be here without him. And our friendship's so good that you know I would never do that in the first place. So, yeah. so when we did the Spalding event, Spalding University. Um, I noticed that like he was, you know, he had the whole DJ down, and I had the more like set up where I want to place things well, and stuff. So, I, yeah, cre I was, the creativity was there on both parts, and it all came together. And uh, I remember a certain point where like, um, you know, if he needed to go somewhere and do things, you know, I was always I always had his back, and you know, um, my thing shut down. My whole computer shut down, and he always had my back. So, you know, we always have each other's backs. There's no, it, you know. To make a team work, yeah, we got to be there for each other. So. If people come over, I'm, you know, I make them feel welcome, and I don't give a fuck, you know. Money is not, it's not the most important thing. I enjoy my life. Yeah. I spend money. I have fun. Mm -hmm. Me and Rachel have fun. All my friends have fun. Shit, when people come over, I buy some bottles. We turn up. We go out and have a ball, you know. Yeah, yeah um, I'm obviously different. I don't, I don't have to... Um, do things like the mainstream. I don't have to sit there and like, you know, mix a lot of shit up and all that. You know, people don't people don't really care because uh, you know, obviously, you know, if you're in a scratch, no one wants to hear that shit. You know, they want to hear good music. They want to have a good time, and that's what it's all about—having a good time. It's not about you know who's the best DJ, 
and all this, you know, I'm the best in the Ville. I'm not the best in the Ville. I don't really care. But if everybody's having a good time, because I have a good time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let me tell you, uh, every DJ event we've done, we've um, had about 10 bottles in the back, and we've all gotten turned on my friends. And we the show was perfect. We all had a good time. They had a good time. And that's all that matters. I don't, you know, but it was all on point. Well, first of all, I like what you're doing as far as, you know, you're helping out with the epidemic that we have here in Louisville. And um, I think it's a good movement that you're doing. And you're helping a lot of people out, even though they may not know it. And, but, you know, um, and it all comes back to where, like, when I started with my dad and, you know, like I guess I haven't had a really opportunity in, you know, making myself a presence in Louisville. So this could be my, you know, yeah. reality, definitely. This is not you coming in, who's the best dress, who's, you know, whatever. Yeah. You know, it's everybody just should just have a good time, you know. This is DJ Static. This is DJ Static. <laughs> <laughs> this is DJ Static! Yo, what's up? This is DJ Static. Join us Thursday, December 14th, 2017 for the first annual Louisville Underground Appreciation Day. Come on out and support your local artists. I'm glad you came over and had a drink. Cheers yeah. to that. Cheers. Oh. Thank you. Yep. Put your glass on the table like that before you drink it. Huh? Put your, hit your glass. Okay, okay. I salute. So, I salute.